I am a 60-year-old grandmother. I play every Sunday at the Bible Way Baptist Church. I play and I smile and I encourage the church members. <laughs> Last year I couldn't play as much as I was more ill and was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had my six rounds of very heavy chemo and uh, later on they found that the, some of the cancer cells were starting to metastasize to the bone and a little bit to the lung. I have had moments where I've been worried, but whatever the situation is, Dr. Wabacher has always been a positive force and said, we have targeted therapy for you. We have options for you. So they switched the medication to the new TDM1 targeted therapy, and it's been working great. Oh, you're so good. Dr. Wabacher is my hero. She's my shero. So one in eight women get breast cancer. It's a big problem. Here at Washington University, we are trying to tackle this problem from many angles, looking at this from all aspects. And advances are happening all the time. In spite of this, African-American patients have a higher chance of dying of breast cancer. We're using our basic science to try to understand the genetics or changes in proteins or looking at the tumor very closely to see is there any changes that stand out that we could maybe better understand and target. So we had looked at genetic mutations and really hadn't found that much of a difference between African Americans and Caucasians. So we began to look at combinations of genes that were lost. And when we looked in that direction, we did identify a novel pathway that everybody had missed. We will look for inhibitors of this novel pathway and that we can take them from the bench preclinically to the bedside in African-American women with breast cancer. We're also trying to understand how can we improve access to care? Can we diagnose cancers earlier? Would this help turn around that mortality difference? The biggest barrier that I see for African-American patients is, is that they don't want to leave their community. Being here at Titan North County, it has actually opened up access to patients. And so my hope is, is that we can continue in that path to get them to being seen earlier when it's stages one and two or stage zero. We've done a range of work reaching out to the African-American women to reduce the barriers to screening and access to care. And at the same time, we've worked uh, back into the bench science with uh, Dr. Weber and colleagues to understand the uh, molecular pathways that may be driving this excess risk in African-American women. Seidman Cancer Center has a unique opportunity. We have brought together experts in basic science, clinical care, and prevention. And these experts at Siteman will be able to reduce the incidence and mortality of breast cancer by personalizing treatments for our patients. I have a lot of friends in, in different churches throughout the area that suffer silently. Coming in early, early detection, and, and just getting that word out and letting them know, look, I'm here, I went in, you can do it, I did it, you can do it too. You know, it's more than just survival. It's about bringing all of us up to a higher level so we can all have the best opportunity to thrive. Yeah. Mm -hmm.